Building roofs are susceptible to damage during extreme weather events, such as hurricanes and tropical storms. Over the past three decades, the U.S. has experienced an increase in hurricane frequency and intensity. With a growing population in storm-prone areas here in the U.S., there is an increasing demand for adequate community storm shelters. Proper roof design and construction are critical for buildings designated as community storm shelters. The International Building Code, the Florida Building Code, and other jurisdictional codes include design and construction standards for these storm shelters. ICC 500 is the standard for the design and construction of storm shelters. Buildings designated as community hurricane shelters should include roofing systems designed and constructed to meet the requirements of ICC 500. ICC 500 requires storm shelters to withstand higher wind speeds and greater design pressures for roofing. Community hurricane shelters also require testing to meet debris hazards as outlined in ICC 500. The impact load requirements for the storm shelter envelope include large missile impact testing. Suprema retained the services of an accredited test lab to evaluate Suprema roofing for impact resistance. The roofing samples were tested using a large missile air cannon and test methods as outlined in ICC 500. During the large missile impact testing, there was no penetration of the modified bitumen roof membrane. Polyester reinforced modified bitumen membranes are thick, rigid, tough, and offer multiply redundancy needed for hurricane shelter exposures. In addition to requirements covered in ICC 500, design professionals should also consider other aspects of roof design for hurricane shelters. Roof edge systems should be designed and rated to withstand the higher wind loads required for hurricane shelters. Liquid applied roof flashings should be used at roof transitions, terminations, and penetrations to protect flashings from prolonged periods of wind-driven rain. Rooftop equipment should be designed and attached to withstand higher wind loads in accordance with ICC 500 and ASCE 7. A vapor retarder installed at the roof deck level serves as temporary protection during construction. This membrane also serves as secondary protection to limit water leakage into the occupied spaces, protecting critical facilities and operations during storm emergency. For more information related to hurricane shelter roofing design and construction, refer to the International Code Council for your local building code. ICC 500, standard for design and construction of storm shelters, and the U.S. Federal Emergency Management Administration's website is also a good source for guidance related to storm shelters. For information related to Suprema roofing options and solutions, contact the Suprema Technical Support Department located in Wadsworth, Ohio.